This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the August 2024 release. The full list of features can be found in the August 2024 version 20.24.8 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month we're highlighting the following features. With assignments, assessment workflow enhancements, also known as advanced assessments, are available in all environments. Track course completion with release conditions using completion tracking in Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups. Discussions now features consistent deletion and restoration workflows for group restricted discussions. Enhance course material with AI generated content with the new D2L Lumi. With portfolio, add submitted assignments to portfolio. And finally, a summary of all other features this month. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. Advanced Assessments helps instructors and administrators to better manage courses with large class sizes and multiple evaluators, delegate and manage evaluator workflows, and reduce bias in marking. In the May 2024 version 20.24.5 release, the Advanced Assessment features were released to test, development, and staging non-production environments. With this release, advanced assessment workflows for assignments are available in all production environments of Brightspace. New features that are added to advanced assessments with the August release include Turnitin integrations and additional accessibility improvements, including assistive technologies for keyboard only users. The assignments feature implements the following PI items D6901. Restrict Teaching Assistant to publish the assignment grade, D6977, Assignments Role Permissions, Separate C slash View from Submit, D142, Multiple Graders in Dropbox, and D6654, Auditor to View Submissions of Assignments. Thank you to all of those who put forward these PI suggestions to implement this feature. The Assignments feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. The Assignments Give Feedback permission is required to populate both the evaluator and publisher lists. With this release, the Advanced Assessment features are enabled by default for all users. A new org level configuration variable, which turns Advanced Assessments on or off, will be added in a future release. If you are interested in controlling the rollout of advanced assessments, refer to the Assignments Assessment Workflows Enhanced and Available in All Environments updated release note to access and complete an online form and request control. If you complete that form, the features will be hidden on your site and you can use the future configuration variable to choose when to enable them. Once advanced assessment features are enabled in your instance and assignments are created, we do not recommend disabling the features with the future configuration variable. For more information, refer to Advanced Assessment for Assignments and Test, Development, and Staging Environments of Brightspace in Brightspace Community. Users can now use release conditions to track course completion. Users can create new release conditions on the course completion tracking page. Learners who complete a course by fulfilling the required release conditions have their completion reflected in Manager Dashboard, Learning Groups, and the My Courses widget. This is consistent with the behavior of topic-based completion tracking. Previously, the only option available was Content Topic Completion. The release conditions available for defined condition-based completion tracking are as follows. Assignments, Submission to Folder, Receive Feedback on Submissions, Awards, award earned. Grades, grade value on a grade item, released final grade score. And quizzes, score on a quiz, completed quiz attempt. Navigate to Course Admit and click Completion Tracking. Select Enable Completion Tracking for this course. And then select Defined Conditions Have Been Met. Click Create. Select a condition type from the drop-down menu. 
select the condition details. And click Create. Choose Your Course is Complete When. And when finished, click Save and Close. The completion tracking feature is available to clients who have purchased the Brightspace Core for Corporate or the Brightspace Core for Upscaling slash Professional Development for Education packages, which includes Manager Dashboard and Learning Group. To enable completion tracking, administrators must select Enable Completion Tracking for this course. This feature is not dependent on any additional configuration variables or permissions. This release updates the deletion and restoration workflow for discussions associated with a group. When a user deletes a group, the associated activities, including discussions, are also deleted. These discussions cannot be restored unless their associated group is restored first. Once the group has been restored, associated discussions can be restored using the Discussions Restore workflow. This updated workflow is consistent with the other group associated activities such as assignments and lockers. Previously, discussions that were deleted when their associated group was deleted could nominally be restored independently using the Discussions Restore workflow. In practice, restoring these discussions resulted in errors and other issues. The Discussions feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled. It is not dependent on any additional configuration variables or permissions. The new D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace introduces generative AI tools that adheres to D2L's responsible AI principles to help course creators and educators improve workflow efficiencies. D2L Lumi IDEA for Discussions and Assignments allows users to use AI to update and refresh course material. The AI-generated ideas for discussion topics and assignments are inspired by existing course content to keep activities relevant and engaging. Users can implement these ideas as is or modify them to create other ideas for activities. In Content, choose to edit an existing assignment or click Create New and select Assignment. Click Generate Assignment Ideas. Select a number of ideas. Optionally choose a Bloom's Taxonomy level. Then choose a content source. Click Generate. Select an idea. And click Insert. If you're creating a new assignment, fill in assignment details. Optionally make your assignment visible, and then click Save and Close. D2L Lumi Question leverages AI to create new quiz questions based on course content while ensuring subject matter experts review generated questions and can modify them. This ensures accuracy and relevancy before the questions are added to question library. D2L Lumi Question and D2L Lumi Idea for assignments and discussions can be refined to meet specific pedagogical goals and includes the ability to select a Bloom's taxonomy level. Navigate to Question Library and click Generate Questions. Select your content source, such as Course Content or Custom Text. Select the number of questions, question type, and optionally select a Bloom's Taxonomy level. Click Generate. Users with a Creator Plus subscription can leverage D2L Lumi to generate practices within content modules in the Classic Content and New Content Lessons experience with D2L Lumi for Creator Plus. D2L Lumi Practice Generation streamlines authoring new practices with the ability to review and edit the content before inserting it into course material. In a content topic, create a new HTML document or edit an existing HTML document. Click Other Insert Options and select Insert Practice. Select an applicable practice indicated by the Spark icon. 
click Generate Question. Review the details of your practice and then click Insert. Lastly, the new Consumption Dashboard tracks who is leveraging D2 Alumi and which courses are implementing it, providing insight into the impact it is having across your organization. Click Admin Tools and select Consumption Dashboard to keep track of your organization's usage. D2L Lumi features are available as subscription-based purchases that require D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace and or D2L Lumi for Creator Plus. To enable, select the Availability toggle for Consumption and Generative AI. The various tools that are introduced with D2L Lumi require different permissions and configuration variables to enable. For more information, refer to the August release notes in Brightspace Community. With this release, instructors can use the Assignments tool to add learner-submitted assignments directly to a learner's Brightspace portfolio. When an instructor adds an assignment submission to portfolio, all submission versions, feedback, and grades are added to portfolio. Previously, instructors could not add assignment submissions directly to portfolio from the Assignments tool. Assignment submissions that are added to Portfolio do not automatically update when an instructor adds grades or feedback to the assignment submission from the Assignments tool. For updated grades or feedback to be included with a submission added to Portfolio, instructors must re-add the submission to Portfolio. The newer version of the submission is added as a new and separate piece of Portfolio evidence and does not replace the original submission. Navigate to a learner's assignment submission and click Add to Portfolio. Click Add. Once the assignment has been added to Portfolio, click View to see the submission in Portfolio. The Portfolio feature implements the following PI items. D4253, Portfolio Assignments Dropbox Tool, Students Add File from their Brightspace Portfolio, and D10766, Add to Portfolio from a Course Offering. Thank you to all those who put forward these PI suggestions to implement this feature. The Portfolio feature is available to all clients. To enable, assign users the Portfolio Can Add Assignment Submissions to Portfolio permission. This feature is not dependent on any additional configuration variables. Finally, let's take a look at the other features for this month's release. Email status message no longer displayed after an assignment submission in assignments. Product and services preview page now more widely available with text content to replace the PDF in Brightspace community. With Data Hub, Brightspace Datasets Improvements for August, as well as Practices Engagement Brightspace Dataset. Reading View Improvements now in Discussions. With Learning Outcomes, Org Unit Filtering in the Outcome Achievement Dashboard in D2L Achievement Plus. Learner Sorting Improvements in Mastery View. Finally, with Outcomes Management, a new release condition based on checkpoints in Course Overall Achievement. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the August 2024 version 20.24.8 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!